Hello friends, welcome to today's discussion on Schedule X as per Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940, Rules 1945. Upon completion of this topic, the students shall know what is Schedule X, what are the drugs that are included in this category, the regulations for manufacture of Schedule X drugs. Schedule X contains list of drugs which need discretion while dispensing and the pharmacist should ensure that the drugs are not sold without prescription. Drugs should have warning mentioned on the label to be sold on retail on prescription of a registered medical practitioner only. The label will also have a symbol XRX displayed in the red at the top left corner of the label. After dispensing the drug, the pharmacist must stamp and retain the prescription. Not only that, a retail pharmacist shall maintain and record sale and purchase of drugs and preserve it for a period of two years from the date of transaction. A few examples of drugs under Schedule X includes Amobarbital, amphetamines, dexamphetamines, glutamide, methylphenidate, etc. There are other drugs which are included in Schedule X category. They are the habit forming drugs and most of and all of the narcotic and psychotropic drugs are included in Schedule X. Manufacture of Schedule X drugs. Accounts of all transactions regarding manufacturing should be maintained serially by a manufacturer. The manufacturer should preserve the records for five years. They have to send invoice of sale to licensing authority every three months. They have to store the drugs in direct custody of a responsible person. The preparation must be labeled as XRX. Marketed in packings not exceeding 100 unit dose tablets or capsules, 300 ml oral liquid, or 500 ml injections. Thank you for your time.